Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create this effect for text. So let's go and see how. Okay, so let's see how to proceed to replicate this effect that I found on the internet. It was not originally mine, but I found it cool and I thought that some people may be interested in knowing how to create this in Affiliate Designer. So the first thing we're going to be doing is tracing our letters separate one from another i'm just copy and pasting clicking shift and moving it to the side because i need them separate because what i'm going to be doing is work on them separately so for that well this is what you need to do so i copy paste all of them and i have my text now just imagine this is not a gradient uh, let's just do a solid color something like this for example for those of you who don't remember how to create the gradient you come to the fill tool or click g on your keyboard and by clicking shift you're going to have it constrained and create a perfect gradient okay you have two stops here that you can change the color of with this dialog okay so and just to follow a bit what i did in here we see we have this brownish Gradient. So what I'm going to do, change the color for the first stop to something similar to what I had have in there. That would be something like, um, well, not like so, but similar. Okay. And the second stop would be something like this, let's say. Mm -hmm. I can change it as many times as I need. So, eh. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like this. You can see also that I have some noise going on here. So in this little uh, slide that you find in here, you're gonna pull up to the top and we have our D now created. Okay, let's go to the layers panel to analyze a bit what we have in the here. If I double click in my text, I am going to see my letter D is composed by the D itself, a shape in here, another shape in here. Okay, let's go one by one. This object here, this curve in here, it's a simple shape that I traced with the pen tool. So we're going to do exactly the same going from this corner here until somewhere here. I can tweak it later if I need to. And I'm going to give it a brownish color or something like this. Well, you can see now that you don't see this because I'm working on this text here. So what I'm going to do is command X, copy it. I'm going to go to my D and I'm going to paste it there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a clipping mask. Now it's inside and we have this part on. Now what I need to create is this shape in here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I grab my pen tool and I try to make this the more accurate I can in such a way that these lines are parallels. I'm doing it quite fast, but I mean, if you want it to look decent, they're going to be um, parallels, these two, okay? So we're going to give it some color. As you can see, I used the gradient here to give it more, uh, gonna, more realism, to give it more of a 3D feeling to it. So what I have to do here is exactly that. I'm going to take uh, my original um, gradient, the one I just created, and I'm going to apply it to this shape. Okay. And again, I'm in the wrong layer, so <laughs> sorry. So I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to clip mask it in my letter D. Okay, it's not perfect, but it looks quite good. So I need to put this gradient uh, right the opposite of what I have. So I click G on my keyboard and I'm going to move this here and I'm going to move this there. Yeah. And I'm going to just manipulate it till I'm happy with the results. Okay, something like this. So as you can see, it's not yet finished because I have some highlights here that will give a bit more of um, 3D and uh, realism to the letter, but I will take care of that later. I will show you how I did that part. 
Now what I'm going to do is I select the E, well actually I select my D and I command C. Now I select my E, I command Shift V and copy the attributes. So I save time, okay? With my E selected, I'm gonna grab the pen tool and I'm going to create this shape in here, which as you can see, is just the shape here as I did with this other one in here, okay? So we grab the pen tool and we're gonna try to go from this corner to this corner in such a way that it looks good. And as you can see, because I didn't get it right, I can move my node in such a way. Now, I will copy the color of this into this. I rem remind you that is Command Shift V. Okay, and now I have my new color. What I have to do now is just mask this inside my new letter. And we have this, okay? For some reason, I thought here it was good to have this kind of like a highlight. I don't really need it. Well, up to you. You choose your color and you choose the, the final look of it. Now, I just copy this and I place it here. As you can see, I'm reusing every shape I create, okay? Now, because this and this is the same letter, I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm going to select my E and I'm going to Command C, Command V. Now I click Shift and I move it to the side. And last, I'm going to create the B and I proceed the same way. I create this shape here. I copy the attributes, Command Shift V, and I mask it inside. Obviously, I don't want this blue, so I select this, copy the attributes again, and I have this part. Now I need to create exactly the same I did for this one. So I select P, the pen tool. This is off, so I'm gonna try to make it better. Now, a tangent line in there. Now I want to create the same attributes for it. Where did it go? Here. Command Shift V. Okay, and now I mask it inside. And, well, not perfect, but I can always tweak it like so. Okay, okay. Well, I'm not gonna spend much more time explaining this. When you're creating this, you will make sure that you're accurate and everything is coinciding as it should. Okay, now, um, as I was saying before, we need to make these highlights. That will look the whole of the text looks look a little bit more realistic and more like it's um, having some 3D going on in it. So how did I do this? Okay, I'm gonna select this part and as you can see in here, this is, I'm going to cut it and I'm going to separate it from the letter. I'm not sure if you can see it very well here like so, but this is just part of the letter. So how did I create this? Pretty easy. I take my original letter, I duplicate it and I put it aside, okay? It is better if you get rid of anything that is contained in it, no? Um, okay, I'm gonna remove this, not like this, but like this for the time being so you can see what's going on here more clearly. So what do I do? I duplicate it again, Command C, Command V, and now I move it slightly to the left. Couple of pixels, maybe three pixels. Now I move it up a bit, taka, taka, taka. Okay, so now they are overlapping, but a little bit off from each other. Now I select both of them and I apply a subtract operation. I'm gonna click on it. And as you can see in here, I have exactly the same shape. At the moment it has no color. So I'm going to add something that makes sense in this color palette, something like uh, beige or something like that. I may make it a little bit more transparent so it looks more realistic and now I put it where it corresponds which would be here and as you can see now this looks a little bit more realistic and nicer. I did the same for this letter here you can see 
I have my subtract operation for the E and my sub subtract operation for my P. So basically this is how you create this super cool and easy effect to give some depth to your texts. I hope um, this serves you for your projects and I really thank you for subscribing to my channel, liking my videos, supporting me and thank you to all the people that have been watching my tutorials and my courses online and I see you very soon with more teaching. A kiss and see you soon. Bye!